First, I would tell you, well, this is nothing more than a publicity stunt. That's point number one. Point number two is this bill was already defeated in the United States Senate. Uh, number three, we are not going to take away a citizen's due process rights. We're not going to take away a citizen's constitutional rights without due process. Uh, that was already defeated in the Senate, and this is not a way to try and bring up legislation. Now, let's focus on the issue at hand here, terrorism, and let's find out what we need to do to prevent future terrorist attacks. And if a person is on a terror watch list and they go try to buy a gun, we have procedures in place to deal with that. We want to make sure that those procedures are done correctly, and that's something we should be able to do in a calm and cool manner without these sort of dilatory uh, publicity stunt tactics to try and bring a bill that already died over in the Senate to the House floor. Well, why that's, not just not, that's not why any not way to bring up a bill floor. A, why not at least allow a vote, up or down? Well, first of all, they know that we will not bring a bill that takes away a person's constitutionally guaranteed rights without their due process. We don't agree with that, and the Senate already doesn't agree with that. So I think, look, the point here, Wolf, is this is a publicity stunt. They're trying to get you to ask me those questions for publicity's sake. This isn't trying to come up with a solution to a problem. This is trying to get attention. As you know, a, a lot of the critics are blaming the National Rifle Association. We did some checking. Over your 17 years in the Congress, you've received about $36,800 from the NRA. Uh, the NRA clearly doesn't support this legislation. Here's the question. Is the NRA the key reason that nothing is happening either in the Senate or in the House of Representatives? No, the Constitution is. Explain. People have a guaranteed right. The Heller case proves it. People have an individual guaranteed right to Second Amendment rights. We're not going to take away a person's constitutionally guaranteed rights without due process. You can, Wolf Blitzer could be thrown on the terror watch list tomorrow, or Wolf Blitzer could be on the no-fly list tomorrow and with no recourse, and your rights would be infringed upon. We're not going to take away your rights without your due process. That is what the Constitution requires, and we're going to stick with the Constitution. That's why we conservatives do what we do. Um, we think that there are a lot of issues that need to be dealt with here as it relates to terrorism, radical Islamic jihad, homegrown terrorists who are getting radicalized. There's a lot to do here. Let's focus on this. And yes, we do believe that if someone is on a watch list trying to buy a gun, that the authorities need to have the procedures in place so that they're notified and they have a chance to do something about it. We agree with that. And that's what we ought to work on codifying. Instead, looking at publicity stunts. We're not looking at solutions. We're not talking about terrorism. We're talking about uh, gun control, which goes beyond a person's constitutional rights. The, the Senate itself, John Lewis and these other Democrats on the floor, it was really not televised by C-SPAN cameras controlled by you because you called a recess which shuts, shuts off those cameras. Some are suggesting you're trying to censor this protest, are you? No, look, this is the way the rules work in the House and they have ever since we've had TV. Uh, we had a similar protest when we were in the minority in 2008. Um, not only did the cameras not go on, they turned the lights off on us. Um, this is what you do when you go into recess subject to the call of the chair. These are the House rules and they've been in this, this way for years.